The RFID Ecosystem Project at UWCSC is investigating user-centered RFID systems in connection with technology, business, and society. While past research with RFID in user-oriented settings has been limited to short-term studies and restricted scenarios, the RFID Ecosystem provides a living laboratory for long-term in-depth research in RFID applications, data management, privacy, security, and systems. The overarching goal of this research is to inform the community including businesses and policymakers, of the benefits and challenges of user-centered RFID systems while proposing technological solutions whenever possible. The project uses a large-scale RFID deployment in the Paul G. Allen Center for Computer Science and Engineering, an 85,000-square-foot state-of-the-art facility for computer science research. The deployment covers the seven floors of the Allen Center, which include laboratory spaces, student, faculty, and staff offices, student and staff lounges, and breakout areas. A network of 50 EPC Gen 2 RFID readers is deployed in the hallways of the Allen Center, with additional readers installed in some laboratories. RFID antennas are mounted beneath cable trays, a spot which affords high read rates while still adhering to FCC health requirements. Users carry one personal RFID tag and may attach additional tags to personal objects. Users' tags are tracked as they move about the building. The RFID readers use CSC's internal network to securely send all tag read events to one or more servers. The servers themselves are physically secured in a locked server room. The complete system architecture has the RFID readers at the bottom, forwarding tag read events to a hierarchy of gateway nodes. The root gateway sends a stream of RFID data to a data management system that is specially engineered to support user-centered applications on top of noisy and uncertain sensor data. This includes a particle filter for location estimation, a probabilistic event detector for extracting meaningful high-level events, and modules which enforce privacy policies using access control and other techniques. An event manager coordinates this data management system and exposes it to applications and tools with event-driven and query-based programming interfaces. A suite of user-level tools simplify the definition of new events and metadata, and also facilitate system administration tasks. Users and their applications are at the top level of the RFID ecosystem. Fritter is a microblogging and friend finder application that uses the RFID ecosystem's event detection services to enable groups of users to keep in touch with automatic status updates. Here, Dylan is working in a lounge before a meeting with his friend Evan. Curious to see whether Evan has left for the meeting, Dylan checks Fritter for an update on Evan's most recent location. Dylan sees that Evan has already left for the conference room, so he packs up and heads there himself. Evan enters the conference room and prepares for the meeting. Because Evan and Dylan have previously agreed that their locations be visible around meeting times, Evan can check to see whether Dylan is on his way as well. He loads the RFID map mashup to see Dylan's location in real time. He sees that Dylan is on his way, and so he doesn't bother to email him a reminder. Like most RFID ecosystem applications and tools, Fritter and the RFID map mashup support both mobile and web interfaces. Fritter is also being integrated with the popular social networking and microblogging service Twitter. The Digital Diary application automatically logs detected events to help users track how, where, and with whom they have spent their time. Here Anna uses the Scenic tool to specify an event which she would like to keep track of, her all-too-frequent coffee breaks. Scenic allows users to specify common spatiotemporal events using a direct manipulation interface that embodies an intuitive storyboard metaphor. Anna specifies her coffee break event with two scenes, the first showing herself outside the coffee room and the second inside the coffee room with her mug and a friend. When she's done with her specification, she submits the event. Later, Anna bumps into Evan in the hallway and has a brief conversation. The RFID ecosystem detects this as a simple encounter event. Because Anna has previously configured her digital diary to subscribe to all encounters with project members, the RFID ecosystem will forward the encounter event to her digital diary for logging. When Anna has coffee with Dylan, an instance of her coffee break event will be detected and forwarded to her diary as well. Anna can review her digital diary using a web-based calendar. Today she sees both her encounter with Evan and her coffee break with Dylan. The Near Field Communication Enabled Phone is a joint project between UWCSC and Intel Research Santa Clara. 
The NFC phone allows users to connect devices as well as to access content and services by simply holding enabled devices near each other. One application scenario is access control. Here Bach uses his phone to unlock the Ubicomp lab. Once in the lab, he hears Evan listening to some music that he likes. Evan's PC is also enabled with NFC technology and runs a special application that allows NFC-enabled phone users to capture a URL to the currently playing song. Bach captures the URL and can immediately play back the song on his own phone. NFC technology can also be used to embed links to rich digital content in common physical objects. Here, Bach stops to read an interesting poster, yet he receives an important phone call for which he will have to hurry off. Still interested in the poster, Bach uses his NFC-enabled phone to capture a link to the information on the poster so that he can read it later. For more information and online demos, please visit our website.